If you're a mobile live streamer or you've been on YouTube for a short period of time and you might be below a thousand subscribers, you might already know that up until now, you haven't been able to live stream from the YouTube mobile app if you're under that 1,000 subscriber threshold. Well, we've got some breaking news for you today and we're gonna go into it. So make sure you join me right after this. G'day, Doug, back with you. More mobile live streaming content coming your way. And today it's the good old YouTube app itself. Up until now, as I mentioned at the start, you haven't been able to live stream from the YouTube app directly if you're under a thousand subscribers. And this has been in place for some time. So if you have a look on the screen here, I can tell you what the status has been since probably the last three or four years. To live stream on mobile, you'll need a thousand subscribers. And once you get a thousand subscribers, you may have to wait to get access to live streaming. You have to have no live streaming restrictions in the last 90 days. And you need to, of course, make sure your channel is verified, which I highly recommend you do the moment you create your channel. We have some interesting news. So we're gonna to jump to two phones, both Android and iOS to show you this. And we're gonna to go to YouTube. Now this is a channel uh, that is below a thousand subscribers for the purpose of the demonstration to be in the realm that we want to qualify for. Let's also pull up the same channel on my Android phone. So here we go. We've got two phones. They're both iOS and Android. What happens if you go live? Now, up until now, you shouldn't have been able to do this if you're under a thousand subscribers. Let's go with the Android first. We hit the plus button, we hit go live. We're able to actually go live. Previously, in my first round of showing this, you can see this screenshot here, where we actually got this message before we got to this screen. So this is, this is good news. On Android, I can now live stream. This is a channel of under 500 subscribers at the moment. Let's do the same on the iPhone, plus go live. Because I've actually tested this, this is now getting past the new picture. Okay, this is what you see in this screenshot here. You get this little go live animation with the typical YouTube artwork. And it says, with the heading, new safeguards. Number one, the cap will grow as the creator history grows on YouTube. Currently, it's 25 plus your subs. We'll get into that in just a second. Archive will default to private after your video creation. So once your live stream is done, if you're under a thousand subscribers and using this feature, you're actually going to have your live stream pushed straight into private. So it doesn't remain public on your channel, but you can go back in and change that afterwards if you so desire. Once a creator hits a thousand subscribers, they'll have access to the full version of the mobile live streaming. We're gonna look at this in a bit more detail by looking at the updated information on the website. This is the Android page which has the updated information. So let's scroll down. You can see it on the screen there, requirements. The new requirements are, to live stream on mobile, you'll need at least 50 subscribers. That's a whole lot less than a thousand. No live streaming restrictions within the last 90 days on your channel. You need to have verified your channel. And to enable live streaming, you may need to wait 24 hours before you can start your first live stream. So these are interesting things. You can see that the bar has been lowered considerably for smaller and new creators, which is awesome. This is some explanation that YouTube provides to what these, what they mean by safeguards and everything else. So let's read this. If you have under, 1,000 subscribers. To make YouTube a safe community for everyone, we may limit the number of viewers on your mobile live stream and your archive live stream will be set to private by default, which is what we just mentioned. And you notice that on the screenshot, it says, currently it is 25 plus your subs. So say I had 500 subscribers, add 25, that's 525 subscribers. That is the amount of people that YouTube will limit watching the live stream at once. So they're gonna limit your reach on your live streams at this level below a thousand subscribers. Now, why is mobile live streaming audience limited? To help aspiring creators while protecting the community, we've created safeguards to limit the spread of potentially harmful content. That delves back to when this thousand subscriber restriction was first put in place about three or four years ago. It was not long after the Christchurch massacre, a very unfortunate thing happened in New Zealand. 
uh, where the gunman was broadcasting his crime spree live on various platforms and i believe it was facebook in particular and so at that time all platforms were reassessing how available an easy live stream was on their mobile devices so youtube put in this limitation on the youtube app itself to safeguard lone wolf type things being broadcast and without any limitations whatsoever now, what happens after you get to a thousand subscribers? If I've got these certain limitations on iPhone or on Android, then what happens? It says after reaching a thousand subscribers, it may take several weeks to remove the mobile live streaming audience limitation. If your subscriber count decreases during this time, it might take longer. If your channel goes below a thousand subscribers, you will have the same audience limitation as when your channel had been less than a thousand subscribers previously you won't lose access to mobile live streaming unless your channel goes below 50 subscribers which would be a considerable drop which is unlikely to happen in the 99.9999 percent of the cases now if you want to check out more of the mobile content that i've talked about particularly in regards to live streaming this is a video for you we were talking about streamlabs mobile if you want to check it out it's right here for you to watch. Well, this is Doug, and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech for content creation.